welcome back if you're joining me for another video if you're joining me for the first time hello i have this last few weeks marketplace haul and by marketplace haul i mean thrift store finds i mean auction win secondhand auction wins and i mean flea market finds um so i've got a good range of stuff here um there is a real prize at the back <laughs> um you won't believe what we got her for so all my prices are quoted in New Zealand dollars. New Zealand dollar, it ranges from 65 cents US to 70 cents US. Um, just give or take a few cents depending what the market is on the day. Let's get straight into it. I'm going to go jump straight to the Monster Highs at the start here. So this is Abby Abominable. She is in really good condition um just needs a little bit of a clean her hair is lovely and soft she comes with her dress her belt and her boots she was purchased for two dollars fifty really good condition for two dollars fifty for a doll let's look at her face so you can see she's really, really good condition and more than happy to pay $2.50 for one of the older style dolls. Really good. I love these little fins on her. If I can just get that in focus. Go straight down to this one here. This is looks like the rollerblade. Uh, Frankie. Now Frankie has had a bit of a mishap and she is missing her arm here and her dress is a little worse for wear on this side. However, I don't believe my daughter actually has the Frankie, the rollerblade Frankie. So she doesn't have these shoes and she doesn't have this helmet. The dress we can turn into something else. We won't be throwing it out. We'll just make it into something else where it's broken. And the arm here, in other videos I've shown where I've got monster highs, which might have a leg missing, they might have one arm missing. I'm pretty sure I can replace this and we'll have a really good doll. I'll bring her up. Here she is up close and I love this helmet. This dress is definitely going to be converted into something else. You can see what I was saying, um, it looks like it's pulled. So it looks like she's had some sort of accident that's involved this side, but we can just snip that off and make it into something a bit more cool. And I love, love, love these. I'm almost 100% Astra doesn't have these. But hey, there are a lot of dolls that she gets that I don't see. Sometimes they make it into the marketplace hauls, sometimes they don't. <laughs> Depending on who grabs what. But um, so that was my second doll purchase. Now she was not $2.50 because of her arm. I think she was a dollar. Which is why she doesn't have the $2.50 sign on her she may have been purchased from a different seller because these ones that have their prices on the legs like howling here generally tend to be from thrift stores in new zealand okay so it's not howling um doo -doo -doo, what's howling's daughter uh little sister how howling claude it's claudine yeah it is howling i think correct me if i'm wrong <laughs> i'll put the names somewhere on there anyway um this one was $2.50. The joints on her top half are okay, but she needs a replacement arm here, I think. Oh, no, no, actually, no, that's okay. That's just the maker's mold. It's weird. It's a very strong line where the mold mark is. I'll bring it up and show it. Um, the claws itself are great. The bottom, it's this leg here, is a little flopsy-mopsy, but... um not too bad definitely a doll which i don't think is bad enough to customize yeah i'd feel a bit bad customizing this one so i think she just needs some tlc to restore her rather than custom her here is her face i really love her with pink hair i think she suits pink hair so much especially in the style where it's down and a little bit fluffy here if we can make her have a fringe of some sort so here is where I thought maybe there was a split, but that's not actually a split. That's just where the way it's been glued. And as I said, it's this one here is a bit flopsy mopsy. Not too bad though. And she was two fifty. Again, not bad at all for a Monster High older style doll. Okay, I have been seeing them everywhere. Um, Generally when toys go through their phase and they start, the kids start to get over them, which um, Shopkins is kind of like one of that thing, your kids either are still really into it or they're getting over it if they're not 
you know, if they're toy loving kids, they're still into it. If they're kind of growing into that tween stage, they're getting over it, which is, I'm finding these everywhere. These three Shopkins, I believe I purchased them for 50 cents each. It may have been a dollar, but I'm almost positive it was 50 cents each. And of course there is a Gemma Stone here, who was the limited edition everybody was looking for all for a while. Um, let's bring them up. So here is the first one. She has been sticking a fork in an electric socket or something because her hair is absolutely shocking. <laughs> um, I will have her um, hopefully down the bottom. Um, I'm not sure. Some of my reviews I do... I do the identification before I put them up or not. I'm not <laughs> uh, yeah, but for 50 cents, I couldn't complain. They're missing their skirts, they're missing um, their bag accessories, and they're missing their shoes. I don't know if I'm going to restore these ones or or use them as um, customs. Another one. <laughs> so again, real bad hair day here. This is an absolute mop I don't even know for the sake of I've most likely got this shop can I don't know if um she's even worth restoring that actually looks like a lol doll cape rather than a shopkin cape I could be wrong but it's a sparkly cape it looks to me like a lol doll cape um she is in desperate need of a clean if it ever wants to get in focus you can see there's something sticky up here. I might be chopping off all that hair and rerouting her. And again, skirt missing, accessories missing. But for the price I paid, I couldn't just leave them there. And finally, Gemma Stone, who was like the coolest thing ever for a while. Here she is up close. A bad hair day, like the others. Not as bad as the others. And that she is not that is just basically going to take a shampoo and a brush. Um, missing all her accessories. Uh, she is a Gemma Stone, so I'm not sure whether I'm going to custom or restore her. I'll decide with my daughter. So there is the three shoppy dolls I got. Let's move on to... Ha! Oh, stubby! She's got stubby legs. <laughs> we have a moxie girl. Um, in typical fashion, we're fine. And you can see her prices in her hair for $2. So she is from a thrift store. <laughs> Uh, she is, um, missing her feet. Quite common for brats and moxie girls to be missing their feet. I do believe I have quite a few of this blonde, blue-eyed beauty. Really cute doll, these moxie girls. I do not, however, have this gorgeous, gorgeous dress, which is the reason I purchased her for two bucks. Let's bring her up. So her, uh, it's a common thing with dolls I've got the last few weeks. Desperate need of a shampoo and fine tooth comb through. She does have an earring on this side, not on the other side. It looks very basic though. So I might be able to match up some earrings with her in my um, spare accessories. But I love this dress. It's got high heel shoes. It's got little flowers on. It's got a purse. Some... Um, high heel shoes with a, a different design very very nice and the doll itself is very clean so a really good find that I have spare feet I believe for a moxie girl so I'm pretty excited about that I actually find the moxie girl feet harder to find than brat's feet <laughs> but for two dollars it was a really good find and this she had around her so I don't know if this is moxie girl or this is something else but this was around her Let's have a look. We've got a tag with a bunny on. Lucky Bird Co. I have no idea what that means. Um, <laughs> I'll find somewhere for this <laughs> little tutu cover here. So, on to something that um, I was very... Well, actually, my daughter found these. I can't take credit for these. My daughter was so excited when she found these. These were at a flea market. And they're in really good condition. We purchased them off a lady who said that her, um, she lived in a caravan and her grandchild used to come over and she had a box of 72 at the, of them. But uh, she unfortunately had only brought about, I think there was five of them and I grabbed the three that I liked. 
Um, actually, my daughter grabbed the three that she liked. I should correct myself. And I would love to see what else is in that box, but she said she was just passing through. I was quickly trying to sell some, grab some, and uh, yeah, they were $2 New Zealand each. Let's bring her up and have a look. This is obviously a boxing Chloe which I think is great. So she's missing her top underneath. She has a jacket on, but look at these fist protectors here. She's got a belt on and these awesome sparkly jeans down to these high heels here, white high heels. She looks amazing. So all I need to do is go into my little um, clothing box and see if I have a top for her, but I'm so incredibly in love with her at the moment. She, I absolutely adore her and I think it's kind of weird that Chloe the drama queen is trying out boxing because I thought if any nose damaged that face she would be crying her eyes out <laughs> but a really good doll um absolutely amazing condition can't wait to get a top on her so that was two dollars the next one Astra grabbed was this one now look at her hair, need to shampoo the bottom, but look how long it's gonna be, it's gorgeous. She's got these gorgeous brown eyes. The dress itself is a bit, uh, yeah. I think there's some issues with the dress. Um, I might actually already have this dress in the box. I don't even know if it's a brat's dress. Whoops, can we get the tag out to see what it is? Wish me well, wish me well. It is a Barbie dress. That is why it looks so awkward on her. Uh, not that great quality. Um, I'm pretty sure I have this Barbie dress already. But let's bring up the Bratz girl and have a look. Doesn't she have a beautiful face? She's missing her earrings, but most secondhand Bratz are. I love the color of her eyes. This medium brown with these shades of what would you call that brown chocolate brown to silver gray just gorgeous her joints are good and down to here she's got these little shoes on these are so adorable shoes they're like the tops are sneakers and the bottoms are high heels so a really good find for two dollars from the same lady and we had one of these the other week um another one of these pixie brats they're really weird. I don't know if I like them. My daughter likes them, but they are really, really weird. So in the back here, I believe, is where you attach the wings, this little thing here. I have yet to find one that actually has its wings um, in second hand. I believe they are slightly rare to find. Um, Astra like this one. <laughs> Let's bring her up. Here she is up close. Um, not really Brett's faces for me. I'm going to admit it. I, I think they're like a weird hybridization. Um, I don't know whether they were trying to compete with Winx in some way at the time or Tinkerbell. But um, love, love, love these Brett's faces. These ones to me look like they're having a facelift. You know how they pull the face up and stuff? <laughs> it looks to me like the cheeks are pulled up that way. Still pretty dull. Just not my favorite Brett's type comes down to this black dress with these little pink shimmery butterflies. Are oh, they butterflies or they flowers? Um, has a little pink underskirt there. Really, really long legs. Super duper long legs. Down to, I don't think these are her feet. Um, I don't think these are her feet and they are in need of a bit of black acrylic paint on them. So I'm pretty sure, yeah. <laughs> I mean, can you imagine that? It looks like Bigfoot, really long legs, and then these, these clompers on the end. I mean, the poor thing. But it is a nice doll, and that was the third one she picked. Um, I think the, the other two, we just already had them, so we weren't too interested. From a thrift store, Astra grabbed this doll. Now, I'm not... Uh, she has had sun damage. I, her but this is a Barbie. Um, and Barbie Indian princess, I believe. Could be wrong there. Um, I'm just going off memory here. She has her earrings in, however. She has a beautiful Indian um, stylized face with the red dot above her nose. Has her necklace. And the 
dress is gorgeous. I loved, love, love this wraparound dress. Um, I'll bring her up to show her face and how it differs in colour from the neck. Um, so I'm almost tempted, however, to rip off this dress, rip off the earrings and the necklace and transfer it to another Barbie doll. I'll bring her up. So here you can see the difference in colour. This body colour was obviously the original style because she has a beautiful, beautiful Indian face but the colour is, it doesn't show on camera as much as it does in the real world. The colour is a really yucky yellow and it makes her look quite sickly. I don't think there's anything I can do. I don't think any sort of plastic dyeing will change that. It'll just ruin her face if I do that. I'll, I'll decide what I want to do with her. And of course, Astra needs to have a say since she is the one who found her for $2, I believe. It was either $2 or $2.50. Try and find the tag on her. No, two fifty at the at the thrift store. But look at this! I can't wait. I'm gonna clean this up. And do yellow is my fa daughter's favorite color, so it's a really really cute dress on that Barbie. Okay, um, let's stick with the Barbie theme and something a little different, but um, that my daughter really wanted is these two pets here. I'll bring them up. Here is the first one. These are Barbie pets from the movies, basically Barbie movies. Some of the Barbie movies my daughter absolutely loved. 12 Dancing Princesses. I, she must have watched it 12 times over. Um, <laughs> this one I think is from another one that she loved, Island Princess. I tend to remember this monkey. Um, we got it from a Salvation Army store for $4.00. Let's turn her on. Oh, oh gosh, I don't have to turn her on. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I think she makes all sorts of weird noises. Oh, goodness, thank you. So, she is a very fancy monkey princess. Um, the eyes, I'll bring them up close. I love these rooted eyelashes on these um, with pink eyeshadow overdone eyes. <laughs> she reminds me a bit of Miss Piggy, to be quite honest. She has this crown on top of her head, which um, lights up Ooh. when she makes her various sounds. <laughs> very, very cute. And under her foot here, you can see the B for Barbie. There's her tags. They're in good condition. Yeah, she just needs a bit of a surface clean and a bit of a fluff on her plush and she will be perfect again. So that was a lot of these actually are my daughter's finds this week. Not too many mummy finds this week, mostly my daughter's. Next, okay, another Barbie character from one of the movies. I think her name's Twyla. Oh my goodness, I think her name's Twyla. Her tags, they're still there but it's a bit frayed. Yeah, I think... I might be wrong. You can correct me if I'm wrong. She has this collar with um, these little ballet shoes coming off the front. Uh, let's see if she's on. I know that Astra... Oh. Okay. Yeah, so Astra checked her. She does need a bit of a surface clean. And I think she needs a bit of a chemical surface clean before I make her fluffy on her plush again. But... I really, really like her. I think she's really cute for an electronic toy. So very basic. Um, you can see her tail here is quite dirty. That's easy clean though. Very basic electronic toy, but um, Barbie sh toys like this should be basic as they're aimed towards younger children. Very cute. I like her. So, those are the two Barbie pets. I, I, we seem to find things in clumps. <laughs> okay, next is this Cabbage Patch. Again, another one of my daughter's finds. Um, this was found at a thrift store. Um, I don't remember how much we paid. It did have a tag on it and it looks like it's been pulled off. Oh, I remember. It got pulled off because I have to repair this one leg. So 
the string is still attached I'm just going to re-sew it in there to get the knee the other side of the knee joint here and here to sculpture the foot this one needs to be done and the tag was on this side um, other than that she's in really good clean condition a uh, bit of a wash and all that but look at this crinkly hair it's hair hair everywhere something Cabbage Patch has never never done wrong I believe is hair it's always been really really well done and she's got a really cute face love me <laughs> all right something a little different this I purchased for one dollar <laughs> it is a unicorn looks a bit like a hippopotamus because of the face here with the nose and stuff but um I brought it for my kids for when they're traveling the cool thing about this is you can open her up at the bottom and then shake, 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 shake. I believe I had a stitch like this in one of my original um, marketplace things that you can check out. Just shake it all down there and then you shove this all in here. Bye bye unicorn. Bye bye, bye bye. And then you have like a traveling neck. It's not done completely, but um, you have like a little button here and you have a neck support for your children when they're traveling, which is really, really good. And um, it's never been used. So I was really happy with that. That was that one. All right, I'm going to do my, I can't say it's my best find. This again is one of my daughter's finds. The best find of the week was my daughter's find. Now I found the next thing. <laughs> Now, I don't remember her name exactly. It starts with an M, though. Oh, you see the M here. This is one of the Hello Kitty type characters. This was $1. Um, I got it from... Is this a thrift store or the markets? Uh, no, this was from a, a, a church thrift store. It was $1. She's an perfect condition there are no marks on her whatsoever her tags are perfect and she's absolutely gorgeous i love 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 hello kitty characters um a lot of the times when we find them though they can be quite dirty like they've been really well loved but this one's in perfect condition absolutely love her i was so happy to find her so for one dollar my goodness who could say no but then to trump me, my daughter found for two dollars fifty. You can see up here, two fifty. Because I thought I'd found something really cool. She found a giant Hello Kitty for two fifty in absolute amazing condition. <laughs> the fur is still soft. It's white. It's clean. It needs no work whatsoever. In this gorgeous little Asian outfit here and it's got a little evening bag and a bow up here so yeah Astra won this week I uh, Astra absolutely won I found some monster high dolls and some Shopkins she found some brats and um, a cabbage patch and that gorgeous gorgeous other Hello Kitty little character over there so and then this Hello Kitty went up no, she didn't find the other Hello Kitty character. I found the other Hello Kitty character. But she found this one to make mine look stink. <laughs> and she found, so Hello Kitty, the best find of the week right here. This character does not belong with this dress. Um, if you know what it is before I even say what it is, I've never seen one. Um, they're very hard to find in New Zealand because they don't sell here anyways. But especially after I've been to America and seen them in the shop, she found a Welly Wishes American Girl in pristine condition. There is nothing wrong with this doll other than she needs a shampoo and a tiny bit of a surface. I don't even think she needs a surface wash to be quite for three dollars New Zealand oh my goodness so <laughs> we actually I actually didn't realize it was an American girl Willie wishes until Astra picked it up and did some uh, went to talk to some of the ladies she knows at the thrift store and they asked her what it was and she started to poke around and she found out what it was by looking at the back so 
here at the back it says American Girl and has all the numbers etc and she said oh yeah it's an American Girl and then this is an, a bitty baby outfit which I believe is the American Girl um, ones I've shown in my previous American video where I, I show the entire store in my previous video check that out if you want um, for the little baby dolls so it doesn't go with a welly wisher but I actually have not purchased I've got another few American Girls to open on camera um, but I didn't purchase any Welly Wishes and she is just so incredibly gorgeous. My daughter found her find of the week. I can't believe it was $3. Let's do a scan by. Okay, so here are the Monster Highs this week. Mummy Find. The Shoppy Dolls Mummy Find. The Brats were Astra's Finds. I think I did the Muxy Girl. A couple of Barbies she found that she was excited about. I found the Unicorn Pillow. The Cabbie was an Astra. One each on the Hello Kitty-ish type characters. Astra's mine. But definitely the find of this week goes to Astra here with the Welly Wisher doll in perfect condition for $3. If you love Marketplace hauls, please give this video a... Thumbs up. If you love toys in general, please subscribe. We love to open toys here and we love to share. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.